In 2020, there were two record-breaking mega flashes of lightning. One was the longest in terms of distance and the other was the longest in terms of duration, both for a single strike or a single flash. The longest distance covered by a single flash was 768 kilometers and the longest duration of a single flash was 17 seconds. The World Meteorological Organization, WMO, has released these two records of the mega flashes as recorded by satellites from space. They hit North and South America respectively in 2020. When we picture long lightning flashes, it's very difficult to imagine a single discharge extending to 768 kilometers. That's 200 kilometers more than the distance between Bombay and Goa. It's actually roughly the distance between Delhi and Bhopal. And a 17 second long continuous flash, that's as long as the first four lines of the Happy Birthday song. How can such lightning flashes, such mega flashes even occur in the first place? In this video, we'll look at the science behind such mega flashes of lightning and the previous record holders for both of these types of lightning. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. The WMO is a UN agency for weather and climate science and monitoring. It has 193 member states and it monitors systems around the world that inform of fluctuations in weather and climate and also provides warnings in case of severe fluctuations and extreme weather events. WMO is the organization that released the data about these lightning records and certified them as record holding. The paper was published on Tuesday in the Bulletin of the American Meteorological Society. The longest detected flash covered 768 kilometers and it occurred over the southern US in April of 2020. It occurred in the region of the Great Plains, which is actually a hotspot for lightning and thunderstorms. The southeastern part of the Great Plains is the most tornado active area in the world. And in this southern region, there are many thunderstorms that occur throughout the months of spring and summer. This mega flash occurred on the 29th of April 2020 from the states of Texas to Mississippi. The previous record holding lightning strike occurred in southern Brazil and was 709 kilometers long. This was on the 31st of October 2018 and the new one is about 60 kilometers longer than the Brazil one. These lightning strikes did not occur in isolation as a single flash alone. They were a part of very very powerful thunderstorms with a lot of lightning flashes and these kind of thunderstorms are common in both of these areas. The longest time or duration that a single flash has lasted is now 17 seconds and it occurred over South America on the 18th of June 2020. It occurred in the region of La Plata Basin in South America, which is another hotspot for giant thunderstorms and this covers multiple countries as well. This strike occurred across the Uruguay-Argentina border. The previous record was again from northern Argentina from March of 2019. That lightning flash lasted 16.73 seconds and is one third of a second or about 0.37 seconds shorter than the new one. One third of a second might not seem like much for a 17 second flash, but most lightning flashes occur for just milliseconds. These kind of mega flashes do not occur in normal thunderstorms. They occur in ones that have clouds which are so electrified and are so expansive that a single flash can span large distances. A mesoscale conductive system is one such system which meets the criteria for expansive electrification of clouds which are needed for mega flashes. It's a complex system of thunderstorms which all merge together and organize and expand and scale, becoming much larger than regular larger size thunderstorms but not as large as the large-scale weather systems that bring events like a blizzard. Mesoscale systems occur commonly in both the Great Plains region as well as the La Plata Basin. These are important weather phenomena. They bring about half the rainfall to both these regions. 
They form in other regions as well, over Europe on land, and in tropical regions they form over waters, typically becoming cyclones. These systems have large enough clouds to where they're sufficiently electrified and there can be horizontal flashes of lightning that occur spanning large distances. But this is only one possible explanation and one factor that could facilitate such flashes. There could be more mechanisms at play within the clouds that amplify lightning strikes. Lightning strikes can be between a cloud and the ground, between two different clouds, or within differently charged regions of the same thunderstorm cloud. In the longest distance one, the discharge jumped laterally or horizontally, expanding between clouds for such long distances at an altitude of about 6 kilometers from the ground. The longest duration discharge also occurred and spread laterally over clouds in South America and during a mesoscale system. We don't monitor lightning strikes as effectively as we should. These ones were observed from space through satellites and also from the ground. But the further away from equipment that measures these discharges, the harder they are to observe. Our technology is still just growing, making us understand these powerful events and lightning in general a little bit better. Understanding them is crucial as they have the potential to cause damage and harm life directly or indirectly and especially as the climate continues to change through our lifetime.